Right, it's Friday, it's just after midday, and um, I'm here with Wanderers manager Mark White for a weekly catch up. How are you doing, Mark? Very good, thanks, mate. Good stuff, good. Right, we're going to talk about Hartlepool in a second tomorrow, but um, first of all, let's just reflect on the last two games. Uh, last Saturday, we were at home to Rochdale, where we lost the game 2 1 very late in the day, and then on Tuesday, we headed up to Ebsfleet and uh, managed to get a 1-0 victory on the road courtesy of Harry Ottaway. Um, can I just get your thoughts, please, on those two? Yeah, I mean, I, I, we're in great form. Um, Rochdale was uh, innocuous, really, wasn't it? Two, two substitutions, the whole of the left side in the first 15 minutes. Um, then that's play a centre-forward at wing-back, and uh, then we get a, a double yellow card. We've had numerous chances to be two, three goals ahead, and, um, and then we had the old heartache of a... 91st and 90 whatever uh, against us really so very innocuous um, one of those real unique ones that you, you kind of get one a year uh, show brilliant tenacity off the back of that to go to Ebsfleet with I think five changes um, all enforced um, and um, yeah I thought played really well tactically got it spot on really that's all down to the boys at the moment. They're, they're executing all the game plans really well. And we are in good form. I think people know that. And, um, yeah, obviously, it's a difficult league. Every game's a different challenge. But we, uh, we certainly feel... I've been saying it. I was saying it when we were in the bottom four. I was saying that I thought, ironically, we was in a better place than we were last year this, at this time. And uh, it does feel like we are in a much better place. Uh, but it's the National League... The games come thick and fast. The challenges are always around the corner, so we'll uh, we'll be fully organised, um, but focused on the next one. Okay, and we're going to talk about the next one in a second. But how is the squad looking uh, following Tuesday? I mean, as you say, you had to bring in a few players that, to be fair, haven't had many minutes this season. But they got good count. Well, it's remarkable. Us. I mean, by the way, thanks to the travelling support at Ebbsfleet, um, phenomenal uh, support away from home on a Tuesday off the back of that Saturday um, heartache. Um, yeah, the squad is... Uh, I mean, we, we, we literally had five players that played that had not started a game all season. Sorry, three of them hadn't started a game all season and two of them have played just one game. It's a, a phenomenal away performance uh, in the circumstances and those boys gave a really good account of themselves, so I'm really pleased with them. Um, yeah, minimal changes, really, um, for us... Um, we're not going to rush players back that are injured, so I wouldn't imagine uh, Tony Craig could be involved. Luke Moore and Barry Fuller are still both injured. Jimmy Mewitt um, and um, uh, Matt Everett are about to go out on loans. Uh, Bogner and um, uh, Carl Shorten, that'll be announced later probably. Um, yeah, apart from that, we're, we're OK. That's where we are, mate. Do you know what I mean? So we're... we're um, uh, sorry, Seb. I should write it down. Bobby will be back next week. Uh, Seb's got a hernia, so we could expect him to be out for four weeks. Oh. I know, but um, really just indicative of that horrible pre-season, Seb's been overused. You know, he, He's had to play every single minute and um, at that really key point. So, yeah, you know, obviously a shame for Seb, but, you know, we've that's what uh, having a squad's all about and we've got, obviously, Tom Blair that's come in and... You know, we, we've got we've got uh, we've got cover, so we're we're happy with that, mate. So the squads, listen, we've got loads of injuries. Who hasn't? You know, everyone was playing 140 minutes or a game, weren't they, for the first six weeks? I think that's taken its toll. Premier League downwards. Um, one of those other sort of crackpot decisions that the PGMO well made. Um, you know, ridiculous added time that they then just started forgetting about overnight. It's weird, isn't it? Anyway, a lot of clubs have felt the pain of that, to be fair, especially with three subs um, in this division, which I think will change soon. Uh, right, that's that moan over. Would it be an update about a moan? <laughs> right, and anyway, so um, we're off to Hartlepool yes. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, you know, a, a first well, off in a minute another, on the another, coach. Another new ground. Yeah, we're off in a minute on the coach. Can't afford a hotel, so we're going to sleep on it. Um, and, um, yeah, no, joking, we're, uh, we're, off, we're staying in Durham. And um, yeah, I mean, we went. We uh, our game was called off at Gateshead last year, so we went down to Hartlepool. And uh, Mitchell, I said to Mitchell, get us some good seats, you know, in the middle of the pitch, Mitchell. 
and um, goes, yeah, I saw it, saw it, and true to form, he'd got us terrace tickets in the in the home end. So we stood with the home fans last year, and the great people actually met loads of people up there. Obviously, um, a team that's yo-yoed uh, recently, uh, promoted and relegated again. Um, one of those clubs that um, deserve the Football League. Um, great following, lo- loyal support, uh, following. So, looking forward to meeting some football people. And um, we do remember as well how cheap the bar was in the ground. Actually, that's one memory. This bar around the corner, down the bottom. Uh, we went in there, a few of the boys, and uh, bought a round, and uh, couldn't believe it. it was like you know six quid or something. So that's the, <laughs> that was the committee. They can't wait. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this I mean, it's uh, we're in a different place this year, mate. We're not. We're not. Um, we. Uh, I, I honestly believe we can beat anyone. Um, um, but equally, I believe anyone could beat us. I think it's that type of division. Mm. Hartlepool are having a challenging time, and um, they'll be they'll be hoping that um, they can turn that round. But I'm not really. Not really worried about your position. To be fair, we've transformed. I think is the word our away form. Mm-hmm. Um, if you look at it, since the sort of last 10, 12 games of last season, this season we've had some really good performances, well structured. Um, yeah, well structured performances. I think our plan tomorrow will be to um, outscore this lot and uh, give them a lot of trouble. Um, at the back and make them have to defend um, that would be the plan so um, looking forward to a good game they've got a great manager really good manager and uh, they're in transition uh, that's the bottom line and uh, both teams have their injury problems so you know we'll see how we get on with it but we're certainly going there to win mate we wouldn't take a point in advance that's for sure um, and we've got I know we've got over 30 people on a coach mm-hmm. that are going to give up that's a long time on a coach um, on, on the same day so appreciate that and any of our northern supporters going as well would appreciate that as much support as we can get other than that we're looking forward to meeting the Hartlepool fans and uh, sharing the football love before we beat them <laughs> OK and if anybody who's watching this fancies joining us tomorrow as Mark says you know we've got over 30 going but we have got some seats still on the coach OK that's um, good yeah, so it's um, and it's only twenty five pound return, so that is great value. Mm. It would cost you a lot more Perfect. than that on the train. So even if um, you want to go shopping somewhere locally, you don't want to watch the game. Yeah, exactly. So, it's cheaper than National Express. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's always it's always a good atmosphere on the uh, Wanderers away coach. So uh, go to DorkingWanderers.com, click on away travel, and you can very quickly and easily book your seat for only twenty five pounds and enjoy a day out up in Hartlepool and watch the lads and get behind them. So, Mark. Thanks for your time. Cheers, mate. Good luck tomorrow. Cheers, mate. And uh, we'll catch up again next week. Cheers, mate. Cheers.